This is the Haftorah, uh, or the Haftarah, in the portion of the prophets for every Torah portion. In this week's Torah portion, it's a special one because of Shabbos Para. So it's com- it comes from the book of Ezekiel. And uh, sometimes there's difference of uh, there's different customs between the Sephardim or Ashkenazim. So the way I'm doing it here is that, um, like, let's say they'll have the same portion, in this case, Ezekiel chapter 36, 16 uh, through 36 or through 38. So wh- sometimes there's different customs on how much of it to read. Sometimes there's different um, starting points, stopping points, or different uh, portions altogether. So I haven't come to that yet, but I might read both. But for now, I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever is longer. So it covers both. In this case, according to the Ashkenazim, they do two verses longer. So We'll do the Haftorah according to the Ashkenazim. Again, it's Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 16 through 18. Verse 16, And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel, as long as they lived on their own land, they defiled it by their way and by their misdeeds, like the uncleanness of a woman in the period of her separation was their way before me. Wherefore I poured my wrath upon them, for the blood that they had shed in the land, because they had defiled it with their idols. And I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed throughout the countries. According to their way and their misdeeds did I judge them. And they entered the nations where they came, and they profaned my holy name, inasmuch as it was said of them, These are the people of the Lord, and they have come out of his hand, of his land. But I had pity on my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned. Among the nations to which they had come. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, so says the Lord God, not for your sake do I do this, O house of Israel, but for my own holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which they have come. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, is the declaration of the Lord God, when I will be sanctified through you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the nations and gather you from all the countries, and I will bring you to your land. And I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you will be clean from all of your impurities and from all of your abominations will I cleanse you. And I will give you a new heart and the new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the heart of stone out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and I will bring it about that you will walk in my statutes, and you will keep my ordinances and do them. Then you will dwell in the land that I gave your fathers, and you will be a people to me, and I will be to you as a God. And I will save you from all your uncleanness, your uncleannesses, and I will call to the corn and will multiply it. And I will not decree famine again over you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the produce of the field so that you shall no more have to accept the shame of famine among the nations. And you shall remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good, and you will loathe yourselves in your own eyes on account of your sins and on account of your abominations. Not for your sake do I do it, says the Lord God. May it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, O house of Israel. So says the Lord God, on the day that I will have cleansed you from all your iniquities, and I will 
resettle the cities, and the ruins shall be built up. And the desolate land shall be worked, instead of its lying desolate in the sight of all that pass by. And they shall say, This land that was desolate has become like the Garden of Eden. And the cities that were destroyed and desolate and pulled down to become settled as fortified cities. And the nations that are left round about you shall know that I, the Lord, have built up the ruined places and have planted the desolate ones. I, the Lord, have spoken and will perform it. So says the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do for them. I will multiply them, the men like a flock of sheep. Like the flocks appointed for the holy offerings, like the flocks of Jerusalem on its festivals, so will these cities now laid waste be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I am the Lord.